Hello, welcome to the Barris Studio in London. This is Mike Harding working you to another in concert. Tonight we have a special guest for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jeff Beck Band.
And there's Jeff Beck Group there. I shouldn't have said band. Jeff Beck Group. Ice Cream Cakes, which you'll find on an album knocking around the shops these days. Ice Cream Cakes, from then on to a number called Morning Dew, which has been done many times, many different forms. It's a near classic, that, but it never, I don't, as far as I remember, it never made the top 20, as if that's a, a stamp of approval. Some people take it as such these days. I don't, and I don't think Jeff does. So we're going to have Morning Dew, a Bonnie Dobson number, segued, followed by, in parlance, by going down a Don Nix number, which is really incredible. Again, the Don Nix thing going down is on their present album. So here you go, Jeff Beck Group, Morning Dew.
Max Middleton on the piano. Max Middleton. Two numbers run together from the Jeff Beck group, Morning Dew. Jeff hasn't recorded Morning Dew as far as I know with this lineup, but he did it a long time ago with a singer that's since well become somewhat popular called Rod Stewart. I'll give you the lineup of the band. It's not just Jeff Beck, it's a few other people of great talent indeed. Bob Tench and vocals and occasional guitar. You heard some second electric guitar that time. Max Middleton, far over on my right, on an acoustic piano and an electric piano. Clive Shaman on bass, and Cozy Powell on a large and massive drum kit here, lovely. And Mr. Jeff Beck himself on guitar, bottleneck, plectrum, you name it. Anyway, and let's go on to new things, let's go on to present things, and tell you the next number is a Jeff Beck composition, which is to be found on this new album that I keep yattering on about. It's not new to me, because somebody sort of laid an American copy on me, bleh, big time. So you get into it a bit. It's available in Britain now, I believe. It's all in the trade papers. I don't know what label it's on. Well, I do, but I can't say. So anyway, from this beautiful album called Jeff Beck Group, here's a 
Mr. Beck composition once he's tuned up. It's called Definitely Maybe.
I was saying earlier on to the audience, and I might as well say it to you at home, that uh, I grew up with music, I played in a band, and in a certain way I paid my dues, which some, some folks haven't done. You play around the halls and you listen to albums, and I listen to Eric Clapton, and I listen to Jeff Beck and Jimi Hendrix. So sadly, I'll never work with or, you know, meet Jimi Hendrix. Perhaps I'll meet Eric, I haven't today. But today I have met the other third of that trio, Jeff Beck. So uh, that, you, you figure out what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's hard to say. Anyway, here's Jeff Beck with a few other friends on a number he wrote, which you'll find on his first LP, which was out at the end of last year, I think it was, the Rough and Ready album. You know it? I hope you do. New Ways, Jeff Beck Group.
getting through to them. We're thinking at the beginning of the show there's no one out there, but I'm glad there is. New ways there, Jeff Beck and Cozy Powell communicating with each other and the rest of the band. New ways. We're just having a quick tune-up in the background, but uh, these things are necessary as guitars tend to go out of tune in this heat.
Right, for those out there and those in here and everywhere, you're listening to In Concert with the Jeff Beck Group. My name's Mike Harding, and uh, we're going to continue with something from the band, Bill Withers' number, Ain't No Sunshine. Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck Band and 
Ain't no sunshine. The last time I saw Jeffrey was about five or six years ago in a seedy ballroom up in Scotland. Probably they're all seedy. I think it was in Aberdeen, and uh, you weren't happy then. Are you happier now? No. No, he ain't happier now. It shows you things don't change. He can't throw me. I don't mind. So let's go on with something that's called Got the Feeling. Yeah? He said yeah. Clive Chamberlain on the bass guitar.
the Jeff Beck composition there got the feeling. You'll find that off the first album I was muttering about, which is out at the end of last year. The LP is called Rough and Ready. Clive doing some nice space work. In fact, everyone does. It's, it's too much standing up here. It's lovely. Let me finish off with a number that Jeff's done a few times with a few people, and it's worthy of finishing the show off. One last time, let's hear it for Jeff Beck and Let Me Love You. Uh, out of mind, but I would like you to sing along with this thing. All you've got to do is to sing Let Me Love You Baby after Bobby sings it. Just follow, follow whatever Bob sings and uh, we should have a bloody great dissolve.
walk me out in the morning
It's time.